Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Archana Singh, Senior Consultant in Cornea and Refractive Services at Shekhar Eye Hospital. Today I will be talking to you about insect bites in eyes and how to manage them. First of all, what are the most common insects that can bite or sting your eyes? These are ants, mosquitoes, bees, fleas, wasps, uh, sometimes even spiders and bed bugs. These are the most common which you can come across. So where can, where can this happen? It can happen indoors at your home, office, school, outdoors when you are driving or riding your uh, bikes or when you are in open spaces like gardens, farms, fields. In any of these situations you can get exposed to insect bites. So, what are the symptoms you can develop? First of all, there will be redness at the bite area, which will be in and around the eyelids, uh, along with swelling. Uh, swelling can be just in a form of a small lump or a diffuse swelling around the eye. Since the skin of the eyelids is very thin and delicate, the edema spreads very fast. So the entire eyelid can get swollen in a uh, few seconds or few minutes. So other symptoms being itching, pain in the affected area or tenderness when you touch the affected area. Along with that, there can be watering, redness. Sometimes there can be ballooning of the conjunctiva. Conjunctiva is a thin white layer on the surface of the eyeball. There can be fluid collection there calling, causing ballooning of the conjunctiva. Uh, if the cornea gets affected, especially in cases of bee stings or caterpillar sting, if the cornea has got affected and the sting has remained in the cornea, it can also cause blurred vision. So these are the symptoms you have to watch out for. It can also cause severe itching in the eye. If the allergic reaction is severe, especially people with who are prone to allergies, there can be anaphylaxis, that is a severe form of allergy, which can include swelling of the face, mouth, throat, tongue, difficulty to breathe. These are all severe forms of allergic reaction. Next. So what do you do when you come across this situation? Uh, as a first aid, what can you do? So if you are able to see the insect particle or sting and it is easily accessible for you to remove it, better to remove it without harming in, uh, any eye tissues. So if uh, it is removed, the allergic reaction at least can be contained. Next, you can take a clean wet cloth and clean the eye surface. After that, you can keep a cold pack or ice pack for 10 minutes. Do not press the eye, do not rub the eye. So what are the do's? What are the things you have to avoid? Do not rub the eye because eye rubbing can increase the allergic reaction and increase the or worsen the symptoms. Do not give any hot packs or heat to the eye. Also, most important, do not try any home remedies. So, as I explained, just do the first aid things what I explained to you and meet your eye doctor at the earliest. So, why is it important to meet the eye specialist? Insect bites can be mild and most of the times they subside in a couple of days. But it is important to get your eye checked to see if there are any remnants or particles of the insects or the sting which has to be removed otherwise continuous exposure uh, to these particles can cause severe chemical reaction and uh, the symptoms may not subside. So when you go to your eye specialist, uh, a thorough examination will be done mainly to look at the remnant insect particles which has to be carefully removed 
without damaging the eye tissue especially with ant bites even if the ant dies inside the eye the bite will be so strong that it will not be very easy to peel or remove the ant uh, easily so the doctor has to use some anesthesia drops and gently remove the insect particle without damaging the surrounding tissues next uh, little severe forms of uh, insect bites or stings are bee sting or caterpillar sting the sting of the bee or hair of the caterpillar will be very sticky especially if it gets stuck on the cornea it has to be meticulously removed by your ophthalmologist without damaging any tissues following which uh, you will need some anti inflammatory or anti allergic eye drops also some oral antihistamines uh, most of the milder forms of insect bites do subside in a couple of days but a little severe forms like a bee sting or a caterpillar sting will need close follow up with your ophthalmologist also as i mentioned in your first aid uh, you can also take any oral antihistaminic tablet or syrup in case of kids if it is available at your home till you reach your eye doctor so what are the uh, precautions you have to take to avoid such situations especially you are in open spaces or you know that uh, there is a risk of getting exposed to insect bites better to take certain precautions like wear full arm clothes cover your uh, uh, body parts with uh, full sleeves you can also wear some goggles protective goggles if it is in a very windy area or you are in farms or gardens uh, you can also apply uh, mosquito repellents on the exposed area if you are not allergic to any of these uh, products in spite of taking all these precautions if you still get exposed to insect bites don't have to panic as i already explained to you follow the first aid precautions uh, and then see to it that you consult your ophthalmologist uh, without trying out any home remedies also most of the insect bites are mild they do recover in a couple of days without causing any serious damage to the eye but in certain cases where uh, uh, the doctor can anticipate that it might damage your eyes uh, they will keep you under close follow up with appropriate medications to avoid any further worsening of your signs and symptoms thank you